Do you wanna get more subscribers on your YouTube channel? Then adding a watermark to your videos is the best thing that you could possibly do. Having a watermark on your videos is gonna help you convert your viewers into subscribers. So let's not waste another second, jump into YouTube Studio and get your watermark on your videos. Head into YouTube Studio, head down the left hand side tab and click on settings. Then I want you to select channel on the left and then let's head across to the right hand side tab called branding. Now adding a watermark to your videos is the best thing that you can do to increase your chance of capturing viewers and turning them into subscribers. When you're uploading your watermark, make sure it is 150 pixels by 150 pixels. The template that we're going to give you for free in this video is exactly those dimensions. So if you have Photoshop, then you can use this watermark and add your name in. If you don't have Photoshop, then have a look at the link in the top left-hand side where we show you how to get the Photoshop trial for free. Once you have the Photoshop trial, you will be able to use this watermark and create it and upload it to your YouTube channel. For those of you that want to customize their watermark for their YouTube channel, we're gonna give you an extra free resource, which is gonna be a Photoshop template where you can add your channel name. So you can see here, I'm gonna change it to my channel name, and then you can just resize it depending on the size of your channel name. You can resize it so it sits nice and center and it's all in line and looking good and attractive for people to click on and subscribe to your channel. So I like to have a custom subscribe button so they know they're subscribing to your channel and this is gonna help you stand out from the crowd. So all you have to do is then export this template as a PNG file and make sure that when you are exporting it, we still in the 150 by 150 pixels. So the template is this, so it should export like that. And if you want the background to be transparent, just select the transparency button there and then click export. And you have your very own customized watermark for your YouTube channel. For those of you that don't have Photoshop, we haven't forgotten about you. We still have a free template that you can use as your watermark. It is gonna be generic, so it's not gonna have your channel name on it, but it will have the subscribe text and the YouTube play button. So you can still click the link in the description below and download this watermark and use it for now. If you would like to get access to the Photoshop trial for seven days and use this opportunity to create your own custom watermark, then have a look at the link in the description below. We have a video that walks you through how to get hold of the Adobe Photoshop trial. Once you have created your watermark, click on choose image and upload the PNG watermark that you have created. Now you have three options. It can be added at the end of the video, which is the last 15 seconds of your video, or you can choose a specific time for it to start. The default is five seconds. We like to make it 10 seconds. The reason why we like to make it a bit longer is we don't want those viewers that are gonna lose a video or gonna lose interest in our videos too early to subscribe to our channel. This may sound counterintuitive and you think that you wanna get as many subscribers as possible, but you actually only want to get true subscribers who are going to become loyal fans, who are going to watch your videos and give you more watch time. If you get a whole lot of subscribers that don't watch your videos or leave your videos in the first five to 10 seconds, then YouTube's gonna see this as a negative impact on your channel and people not enjoying your video. So make sure that you do 10 seconds instead of five. That's a personal opinion. If you wanted to come in at five or if you wanted to come in at the start of the video, you can do this. We just don't want to get subscribers that aren't going to be loyal subscribers. So we would prefer less subscribers, but a subscriber base that's more engaging on our videos. If for some reason your watermark is not working in YouTube Studio Beta, you can go back to Classic Studio. So click on the bottom left and say Creator Studio Classic and click Skip. Once you're in your Creator Studio Classic, head over to the left hand side and select Channel. Under Channel, we're going to select Branding. This is the exact same tab that we had in YouTube Studio Beta, so you can remove your watermark or update your watermark. You have your three options to choose when it comes in. And once you're happy, you can update 
your watermark and it should be working now. Once you've updated it, let's check that it works on one of our videos. So start playing one of your videos, wait for the 10 seconds and you will see that the watermark that you've just uploaded is going to appear on your channel. And if you scroll over it, it's going to give you that subscribe button. This is going to get you more subscribers and eventually more views and give you more growth on your YouTube channel. Hit that like button if you got your watermark on your videos and you're about to get a whole lot more subscribers. How many subscribers are you going to get on your YouTube channel? Let us know in the comment section down below. If you want to learn how to grow your YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button because we create new videos every single week helping you start and grow on YouTube. To get started right away, watch one of these videos right here. We'll see you in the next video.